Okay, so we're looking at your thing now. Okay. Yes, and, and as, as I don't know how much Caroline explained to you before I joined in, but I, there's actually, this isn't done anyways, but I added the children to it with her help last week, um, and some of the issues that I've had is that it asks the children questions out of order, and even when I put in three children, it will still ask for fourth children information. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we can look at that. Besides okay. that, there might be some questions in there that I know, you know, like I, I, there's a question, do you want custody of the children? I haven't created an if statement, like only ask that question if there are children. So I know that there are some things that I need to do outside of those things, but I think the couple things that I'm having trouble with now is the ordering of the question and um, stopping it from asking for additional children once you've hit the number of children, the target number. Okay. Yeah, no problem. So um, let's take a look. So I'm going to just ask for remote control. Her sound's just gone. Yeah, are, yeah, are you still there? Chapman? I'm still here. Yes, I am. Okay. I just put myself on mute. Okay, no problem. Um, so I'm looking through here. Child list, that's one of the built-in object types in DocAssemble. Is that right? Yeah. I haven't used that one before. Yeah. Okay. okay, so. So ask number equals true. That should be enough to make it not repeat. Ask for like if yeah, you have any go more. Go past target number. Yeah. And what are the fields that you're asking about? Can you, you want to take me down to that part of the interview where you're asking for the different sure. fields for the child? Okay. So let's see. Here is the first question. question. Caroline and I first worked on this in a little YAML called Children. And once it seemed to be working there, and it was actually flowing to my divorce complaint, the thing is, before I moved it over into the divorce complaint, um, I think that I had only answered it where there were four children. <laughs> I didn't test it with one or two children. But um, so there's also a YAML called Children that if it's easy to work from. But then I moved over to the field here. And so that's where it is. And then I try different things to get it, um, to get the order of the questions right. Right now it asks for the children after it asks for the attorney information, which is further down. So it's kind of out of order as well. But so it was down here to the children. Okay. So is it more than one screen or just one screen of questions? I think it's a couple screens of questions. It's first, okay. well, it's, do you have children? And then how many in the same block? And then it will ask you for each child and repeat each, that. Each child has just one question though, right? That's, I believe so, yes. Wait, what's the out of order part that happens? Well, I think it might be easier just to see it. Okay, sure, yeah, let's look at it. Wow, that's right. We had to enable that autocomplete for address. It's just so quick to get through it. <laughs> yeah. Because this is on your, yeah, this is on your server. Oh. Yeah, so it should, it should be there. Mm -hmm.
So after the children, you want that to be asked probably right after you say the number of children. You want to gather the list of children. And you're still on mute. You're right, I'm still on mute. So basically, I know that some of these questions, it was okay that the custody question came after, but after you ask how many children there are, yes, I wanted the um, details as to the children's names and dates of birth. So then it goes to Jane Smith. And uh, there's two issues, right? There's the order of the questions, and then there's also Inside stop the asking for children, and we've met the target very Yes. Yeah. Sure, why it would. So it even gets to the signature. And what is the date of Okay, so now no. we're asking about that. Okay, but let's just see if it goes. I only put in three. Okay, now yeah. we're into the fourth child. And does yeah. it, if you do this, does it go into the fifth? Does it just I, keep going? I, I, I can't. I can't remember to be honest. Uh, I know it was just yesterday, but um, actually, let me do a different name. Oh, so it's just, just one more. Is it? Is it just one more than what you? Does it do one more or does it always do exactly Well, four? I think even when I did two or one, oh, it would okay. go to four. Yeah. And at one point okay. I had it saying, at one point it was looping and just saying, what is the name of your first child? You know, what is the name of your eldest child? What is the name of your eldest child? What is the name of your eldest child? Over and over so, again. Yeah, and um, I don't think the signature came in with either. That's the other thing. But I can deal with that later for whatever reason. It's not. Okay. Um, All right. So, I mean, you have four fields here for children. So I'm guessing that is what is causing that to happen. Oh, right. So let's look down at where you're filling in the fields. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're going to change these bracketed numbers here to um, yeah. the dot item. And that should solve it because item is like a way to tell doc assemble that I don't, that you don't care about, um, that you want it to, just return an empty string if there's nothing in that spot in your list. Oh, so the, the fact that it's looking to fill those fields is what's causing it to ask the question exactly. until all the fields are met. Exactly. Sorry. I to hit the wrong key there. Yeah, that's exactly it. So let me just copy this in there. So it's a special function on a on a, a dot symbol list that will won't cause an error basically if if there's no, if nothing in that position in the list. So that should solve that problem. So this is, uh, I think that we saw in the documentation somewhere that you can, if the field names match the variable names, you can just list, I think if you can just list the variable names here. Yeah, you were saying that. I hadn't tried that, but that is, um, but it wouldn't solve this problem, no, though, right? Uh -huh. Where you need but to But if you, but if you did that, could yeah. you just, I mean, if that works, could you just take out the syntax that says give me the value of, but you could use item, item as a function or method? The method. Right. So could you just list those variables with those methods? There. Oh, in inside the question name you're saying? Yeah, I mean instead of what I mean Maybe. instead of yeah. instead of saying this field equals this, just list it and have the method be part of the variable. That's a good question. We should try it. Yeah, try that we should try it. And yeah, yeah, and yours all match, so it's worth it. Let's try yeah, it. Sure. That's what I think. So that should solve that problem. Let's look at your question order here. And um, let's see. This is all making points. It's, it's further down. Okay. That. I, want, 
it's right at children there are any I did have children name in there at one point children but it didn't have any impact so I took it out okay so you have children that there are any and then we want to do something that asks for the children so it's nothing that it's not mandatory here at all right so um, one thing you could do is change the no because it, it's always going to be asked after all these things the way that you've written it right now but here's a way to tell DocAssemble that you want it to gather the items in the list. All right. And that oh, gotcha. Be okay. Yeah. And that should solve that. So let's um, let's just check and see if we can get those addresses to be out of completion. Oh yeah. Just to save a little time, I think. You have to do that for each variable. Mm -hmm. Well, the only other address, well, it was, I'm not asking for the children's address in this form, but I actually started another one that does ask for the children's address. But, okay. Oh, they just those. And actually, it was kind of auto completing on my computer. At my uh, my home office, but this That's was the first time I filled it out at this location, so there was nothing yeah, cash. That, Jacqueline, that, yeah, exactly. This isn't caching. This is okay. the, calling the eight, the Google Maps API. When you do this oh, address, oh, okay. so it doesn't. You, it could be the first time you ever ran the interview, and it should help you finish the address. Okay. And what would be, be really great is. If there was a way to save these answers, but, you know, the variable names to be used in a different interview. Are you working on that? <laughs> um, <laughs> you're saying to like save the responses and then you have a bunch of different forms that are all related. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I know that I, I actually was trying to play around with a, this thing for attaching three PDFs yesterday. Um, but even so, I could see where it'd be great if all of the we had all the variables filled out, and then there was another form that might not have been thought of in the original. I realize we can we can string along more than one of the divorce documents that you might need for an initial filing, but it would be great to be able to use these same values in a different form. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why is that? It got the That's weird, here. isn't it? I don't know why it's saying it. Didn't oh, now it's looking, right? Yeah, it's, well, it was in there, right? So oh, I mean, you didn't right? do anything to the, you didn't do anything differently, did you? Oh, you're right. No, I didn't. Well, I went like two screens back, so. Okay. I don't know why I had a problem this time. Maybe I just clicked too quickly. Well, I like the sound of that question of your client's child, you know? Yeah. You only had one. That's good. Yeah. As opposed to eldest child. Okay. Okay, so that's in the right order now. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so I think that was it. So it was those two things, using the dot item. It didn't ask yeah. for four kids this time. They only asked for the one. And then, um, using that dot gather function, which we didn't really talk about before, but it's a, a quick way to do, to make sure DocAssemble gathers the list in whatever way it's supposed is to. Is that, um, that's similar, is a similar concept, but different in terms of the complete set, complete attributes? Yes. So what, how, why so would you use one yeah. the other? So you'd use complete attribute if you're asking for information about the person on two different screens. Oh, that's what, so you've got that's more, yeah, that's that's what I, yeah, that's what I was wondering. And, but then the other one was, the gather was, what was the, why do you need to use gather if it's only on one screen? You don't need to use gather, but it's a quick way to tell it that you need that particular item. Oh, to go to that, that, to go to that the, oh, so for ordering this. Gotcha. For ordering this. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. so that, instead of saying children name first, you could just do gather. Yeah. that group. So like this is the equivalent, and it depends on, this works no matter what type of question you're using to gather this. If you, like if you were using this, there was another 
Yeah. It would work for if you were using. So I'm gonna do yeah. But you could do it like this. You could do four. Um, I think the function is. Do it like this. Right. Mm -hmm. So what okay. what it what is this for? We'll find out in a second. <laughs> I would do the same thing. Oh, that means ask. Exactly right. Ask, so that's the same thing. So it means ask every for I. It's, I mean, in English, it would be for I. Make sure you get I for zero, I one. I when I equals zero, I equals one. That's a, oh, that is I. That's not a one. I type for I. Okay. Yeah. I probably why is it one? It might cause a problem because Dr. Bundle uses that for a special meaning. Right. So mm -hmm. we could probably we could probably use like something like that. Yeah, just yeah. have a placeholder thing. Yeah, that does the same thing. Yeah. And um, there's a shortcut function that I was trying to remember. I think it's just called range. Oh, for zero to three or whatever it is. Yeah, you probably like, you know, children don't target them. But... Right. And if there are no, so what happens if there are no children? So this is assuming that they're children. If there are no children, will it? It'll skip it because it's item. Yeah, you're right. So you would even really need one more function, one more bracket of text there, right? So if it's children, children dot uh, number greater than zero. Oh right, I've got a couple of questions now. I'm remembering. Yes. So, so um, you that's all that this does. The children that gather function does that. Except if it wasn't using target number, it would do it the way that's right for a list mm -hmm. that doesn't use target number. Does that make sense? And so what you just what you just put there what you just put there is in replace of the children gather. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you want to know what and that function does in the background. It's something like this. Okay. So you do one we, or the other. Yeah, you wouldn't do both. Okay, good. So I don't know if there was anything more we needed to do on this particular one because I have another question. I'm just you know I have to head out at five or three just because I have a three o'clock appointment right yeah, here, okay. but I have to get ready for it. So um, could we? I don't know. Did you have any more? I think some of the other things I have to do to this complaint I can work with on with Caroline on Friday. Caroline, were there any yeah. other specific questions you had with regard to this? No, I'm interested to hear. Well, I mean, are you going to talk about the, you mentioned the multiple PDFs. Yes, I have you? one called Attach. Right. Um, I just cut and paste. And what I was trying to do, and I don't know what form I left it in. I, I do, I do things and I undo and then I redo. And <laughs> um, This is where Git is helpful. So maybe if you haven't already practiced with that. Oh, get yeah. Well, I have I have uploaded a few things to GitHub. Um, okay. But some of my mistakes are just so. I like to wait until the mistakes aren't quite as severe before I start. I, don't know, I understand. <laughs> so I try to take something that's supposed to be working, or I gave up on it. The three documents that I I wanted to start working on. Um, oh, where was it? I have. Oh, actually, I haven't even attached one of them up here, so maybe that's why. Um, let me see. Yes, I had this is a military affidavit, divorce complaint, and affidavit care and custody. I ha I just I haven't really done anything with the affidavit care and custody. So I was just trying to follow along the instructions on how to attach multiple documents. I didn't get very far. So I don't know if that's something we could go over. If it's something um I don't want to take away from something you need to address though, Caroline, either. No, that's right. useful to know this. Yeah. So let me see. I'm trying to remember. Does that, does that work? What you've done here? No, it does not. Oh, no. Okay. So, oh, well, I think I figured out why. Um, when you want to refer to the attachment later, you have to give it a variable name. Okay. 
which isn't a required thing otherwise. Oh, it's down below okay. if you see it. Now, can I tell you the example? Oh, yeah. yeah, but the example did not have the PDF template file. So when I looked at the example, it didn't note the PDF template. I added that myself because it wasn't working. In other words, the example didn't have this line in it. Um, so, and then I didn't change, but I, I thought it was odd. So I put it in, <laughs> and it wasn't right. working. So you, so, should be able have, so you should be able to have multiple PDFs to view, and they should be generated depending on what the variables are, right? Yeah. That's what we couldn't figure out. Um, so you'd want your attachment block to look like your regular attachment with a PDF block, so it would follow the same syntax. So this here is for using a markdown template with the content sure. right there. Yep, I think that could be deleted. But do you think the variable name should have the dot PDF? Nope. Okay. Um, and actually, it I won't. Just about, me, that, okay. That means that and just, I'm sorry. Um, you realize that I just took out the PDF template file in the first document. I can put it back. It wasn't there in yeah. the example. Okay. okay. Yeah, go ahead and back. Does it need to be back? Okay. Statement. You'd want to use that field statement still. So attach the attachment standalone should look just like a regular attachment block. Except it's not doesn't have a question at the top. Okay. And so that's how is that right? I don't know. We need the field the field. Uh, what do you, you call it? Section. The fields are down at the bottom. Do you need the fields for each attachment? Mm -hmm. I thought that was you do. So yeah. I have to copy these fields into each attachment. Yes. Okay, that that's fine. You just do the fields for the for that specific attachment. Yeah, right? but I don't know. Yeah. You're right. You only need okay. the ones that are actually by that one. Yeah, you but I don't know. Copy, which... You just copy them from the other interview that you just edited because you have all that item stuff in there. Oh, so, okay. Oh, yeah, these are the old ones. Okay, that's right. Good, good point, Caroline. So I'm going to go back to it and divorce complaint. Oh. What? Did you save did that one before you went back? I to did. It? I did. Oh, good. You can have two windows open too, so I do that a lot. So I know that you're saying that I should just pick and choose which ones. So these aren't, these are just the divorce complaint ones. Control C. Go back to. I usually put everything in. Um, so this was for the divorce complaint one. Oh yeah, you'll want to put that field statement. You you want to replace the statement down below, I guess, right? If it's if it's well, the right first, field. this is a this is the one for divo the divorce check, complaint. Check the index. Okay. I think be yeah. Also. Does it have to come in? What is that? Wrong. Um, I hate that when it does that. Yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't look like it's wrong. wrong. No, it does. It might be right. Okay. You just have to be consistent within each block, I think. Okay. Um. So I'm going to save this, but now I'm going to go get the the fields from the military affidavit. And some of them are duplicative, but not all of them. So I'm just going to still, so, okay, so field, so let's see. So for the each, do you, so you have three separate attachment blocks? I do. Oh. Yeah. That's the way it should be. Yeah. And then, and then you do the field. So, and you don't always, at what, when do you need the variable name for the attachment? Always with a PDF, or would you have more than one? Or if it's a standalone, standalone PDF, standalone attachment block, oh, you need to give it a variable name if you want to use it later. I see what you. Oh, oh I see. Gotcha. Question, okay, so the, I get it. So this is a block that really specifies all the information about the attachment. And then you call that variable. It brings in all the gotcha. Yes, exactly right. In your sum yeah. event or your results or whatever. Whatever your final question is. And do you see you see Jacqueline on the side there? There are some questions I guess that are missing from the military affidavit if that's the question. 
Oh, 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 yeah. And I'm gonna. Okay, well, affidavit here in custody. I'm gonna. I'm gonna replace these. I asked my affidavit to this uh, Karen custody. There might be like four fields that I've named. That's all. So I hear, I see what you're saying about. Um, I just want to, and I actually just have to keep an eye on the time because. Um, yeah, I guess we only have like a couple minutes left for you. Yeah. Two minutes, two minutes maybe. But let me go. Okay, so um, you're saying that undefined name, current mill. It was defined before. Uh, Oh yeah, no! Because it's not. It's not. The questions haven't been brought into this yet. Okay. It's attached. So, so that's what I have to do. I have just, to bring in the questions. You could just, Caroline, if you or Jacqueline, if you want, you could just delete the reference to it here too. So that would work. Because it's if the field name is there in a PDF, it doesn't really care if you don't fill it in. Which is kind of that's something that's a little easier than in a Word document. Word documents will complain, but. And then mail off that. Yeah, okay, and then delete. Those are all the ones that we we can save it, I guess, and find out. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, those ones. Okay, affidavit care and custody. I may not have uploaded the template yet, maybe not. Because I, I really, I would just, yeah, I might not have that template up there. So we can just do two. Let's try it now, okay. It's saying that the, think? Saying that the name isn't defined, maybe there's a typo somewhere. Let's see. Oh, sorry. I think I clicked the same Which is here. possible. Oh, okay. No, no. Uh, okay. What? Okay. Let's see the syntax error. No content in attachment. Oh. Yeah, there's probably no affidavit. Um, affidavit one. So maybe okay, that one. That. Okay. And it won't make us. But it's still in the, it's still below. Don't, do you have to go back into the, down below and remove that attachment, the very last one? You're not calling it. Right no, here. You this one. Need to, it's not being used. Huh? You shouldn't need to because it's not being used. Okay. It's not mandatory or anything. You're not referencing it anymore. Okay. Um, I don't know if we're going to have time to fill it out. Okay. Well, unfortunately, you guys, um, okay. If you wanted yeah. to work, I mean, I could publish this one if you wanted, but you know what? That's okay. We can work on this another time. Let me know what you want okay. to do because okay. I have to leave. Yeah, let me, well, go ahead and um, what I can do is I can go ahead and see, show you the, send you the file from MADE, which does the same thing. It's not for a PDF. It's for okay. a Word document. Okay, I'm not. I, Maybe that will be helpful. Just okay, I'm, I actually, I'm actually not understanding what you're saying, but I need to go, so. I'm not going to. I'm not going to okay. put this on GitHub. I'm sorry. So you two are just going to work on something different, correct? Okay. Yeah. And then we'll okay. talk, I'll talk to Quentin a little bit, see whatever what he's telling me, and I'll share it with you on Friday. I trust you to do that. Okay, Caroline. Talk to you then. Thanks for your help, Quentin. Okay. Okay. Bye You're now. Welcome. Bye. Bye.